بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أحبتي في الله as we mention الرياء the danger of showing off in your ibadah is uh, a great great danger that we must avoid and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَا أُمِرُوا لِلَّهِ عَبُدُ اللَّهُ مُخْلِسِينَ اللَّهُ دِينَ هُنَفَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and they weren't commanded except to worship Allah alone with sincerity for him is the deen uh, the, the deen of monotheism one of the benefits we gain from this ayat this ayat this ayat al-karima is that riya we, we understand the definition of riya riya an yata'abbad an insanu rabbuhu azza wa jal walakin yuhsana al-ibadata من أجل أن يراه الناس. أحبت في الله الرياء. It is to worship. It's for a person to worship Allah, to worship their Lord عز وجل. But they beautify their act of worship in order to be seen by the people. So beware of this أحبت في الله. And we've spoken about this extensively in some of our other gatherings. In explaining some of the ahadith in Arba'in and Nawawi and many other ahadith which refer to uh, having sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our ibadah. Another benefit that we gain from this ayah and the other ayats that I mentioned prior to this is that ikhlas ibadatilillah <coughs> you know that ikhlas is worshipping Allah alone with sincerity and that's the opposite of riya and that this ikhlas, this sincerity, it is the deen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. It's the only one. Because when you think about it, habit tafillah, all other types of religions, they contain some shirk. They can contain some worship. If they worship Allah at all, they contain some worship uh, of Allah with other than Allah. For example, the deen uh, of the, the Christians. Those sects which worship Jesus, they worship Allah as well. They do believe in the Rububiyah if you ask them. But then along with that, they associate a partner, they associate Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam, and they worship him along Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only accepts sincerity to him and worship of him and him alone. Another benefit we gain from these ayat, habit of Allah, is that riya sabab fi ihbat al amal is that riya or showing off it is one of the reasons that a person's uh, deeds are made null and void so having shirk in your acts of ibadah will nullify your worship that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said la tutlibu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and do not nullify your sadaqah don't nullify your sadaqah how do you nullify your sadaqah? yunfiq malahu riya'in nas is by spending your wealth in order to be seen by the people so this riya, this shirk, will nullify your worship. And of course, fasting is what? Fasting is ibadah. Fasting is a form of worship. So if we show off, fast, in order to be praised by the people, our neighbors, our non-Muslim neighbors and, and other Muslims, and we show a sad face to show that we're fasting and, and all of these other types of activities, or we brag that we're fasting, or whatever the case may be, this can nullify your fasting. Who wants to go the whole day or perhaps the whole month of Ramadan without eating, without drinking, abstaining from many things, but because they showed off, all of it was made batan. All of it was nullified. And on the day of judgment, that fasting didn't benefit you. Who wants to do that? Who wants to lose in the dunya? No. Be careful and try to make your, your deeds sincerely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your fasting. 
عن ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول قال الله تعالى انا اغنى شركاء عن الشرك من عمل عملا اشرك فيه معي غيري تركته وشركه رواه مسلم ان الحديث صحيح مسلم the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said I heard the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying Allah the Almighty said so this is a hadith Qudsi I am the most self-sufficient and not in need of shirk Whoever does a deed and associates a partner in it or with me or does it for other than me, I've left him and I've left his shirk. Letting us know uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves the person who does the shirk and leaves their deed. So if you fast for other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or you share in that fasting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not in need of your fasting. He doesn't need anything from us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave that action, meaning he will not accept that ibadah. And perhaps Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will leave you if you if you uh, make shirk and you and it reaches the shirk al akbar and you become a disbeliever, leaving Allah. And so Allah will leave you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from shirk, kufr, zandaka, bid'ah, and all those things which he is displeased with. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم